Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. An absolute pleasure to be able to speak to you all. How are you doing? Hello. Good, good. good. How, are How are you? How are you? Great, thank you. Um, so maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible kind of supernatural crime thriller, The Rising. For people who don't know anything about it, what can they expect? I um, don't know who wants to take that. Yeah, it is about a young woman called Neve Kelly who discovers that she has died and she can't remember what happened. And she is still here in a way and she can see everyone, but nobody can see her. And then she sort of finds out that she was murdered and she's really furious and tries to obviously um, solve the mystery of what happened and find out who killed her. Yeah. And um, there seems to be a lot. <laughs> a lot of um, <laughs> series that kind of deal um, with sort of subject matter in the space, but this feels like quite a fresh take on it, particularly the fact that it's very much from the perspective of, of the protagonist. Um, so I just wondered what the appeal of being involved with the series was for each of you. Uh, maybe start with you, Clara. I mean, that was definitely a factor. I think that um, seeing, we've seen the dead girl's narrative and the dead girl's story so many times and now in the what the rising does so beautifully is it subverts that genre and um and empowers the victim and you see everything through her eyes and i think that that's just very cool and powerful um and yeah it's just unique we haven't seen that before so that was that was definitely a factor for me yeah to, absolutely i mean it's, it's a completely like very original concept um this, this kind of thing and it's it's super it's really refreshing to see that. Mm -hmm. And also all the, all the characters that you have in it and the setting and everything are, um, are different as well. And you don't really know where it's meant to be. And the then the characters are still so, you know, alive and so real and human and have all these really deep connections with each other that you kind of start to learn about as the show goes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was really nice to jump into like a really like fleshed out, group of people in a fleshed out world and all of that is, is really nice for me it was on top of that um and the amazing young woman hero who solves her own um murder and on top of that it was also the whole atmosphere of the place because it's such a small town and like Solly said um everyone knows each other everyone grew up together everyone knows everyone's stuff yeah and I know that from where I grew up so I've immediately instantly felt that connection to a place like that and and been having so many characters with you know dark secrets and and all the relationships they um have to face and yeah. deal with so i really enjoyed that part. Twist and turn. twists and turns and <laughs> left and right and the left and right <laughs> ups and downs <laughs> I was going to ask about that because it does feel like the location is, you know, really crucial to the story and being set in the Lake District and this very particular kind of community. So what was it like shooting in that place? And how did you feel that the, that the setting was also crucial to the story? Oh, it was so beautiful. For me personally, as one of the characters, one of the only characters who can see Neve, um, Alex can see her, um, which we find out later why, it was so good to be out in nature with the wind and with the rain and and you know Neve in elements. this uh, the elements because mm -hmm. Neve is in this otherworldly sort of realm and and that was really useful for me as an actor to to tune in with the wind in a way uh, so I really <laughs> and and other than that it was just beautiful to be in the peak district and looking yeah. on standing on top of a hill and looking out over Beautiful. With the sheep. Yeah. The sheep. Vine. I love the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Nanda had a little really obsession with the sheep. I do love the sheep. Every time yeah. we were on the way. Every to time set, I saw her, she was like, like, where's Nanda? She'd just be like, on the <laughs> on the ground, like looking at a sheep somewhere. Oh, asking, little sheep. I always wanted to take them all home with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was such an amazing setting and it, it set the set the like the whole tone of, of everything. Oh, sure. And it was really nice to be outside and in nature after mm -hmm. you know, everyone it was it was shot during the pandemic which was a challenge but that the fact that it was outside made it a lot easier Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. and um it was really freeing really yeah. freeing it was good yeah. and it makes that their world feel so small with sort of that yeah, large yeah. scale backdrop of the mountains and um yeah the, the vastness of it all makes it feel so much more intricate and um yeah. Isolated. Yeah, and, I, and isolating. isolating. That's exactly. a really good word. Yeah. That's a great word. That's a really good word. Yeah. I got a mark on my essay for that. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Old star. Yeah. 
And Clara, I was wondering how you kind of saw the character of Neve, because when, especially when you first sort of see her, I thought she was sort of channeling something of like Lisbeth Salander, you know, from the girl, the dragon tattoo or something yeah. like that. I think kind of maybe the biker gear and she's kind of quite like hard and toughened, but she's also troubled and part of the arc of the story is also her having to kind of, um, you know, face some of the things from her past. I just wondered how you saw that character and, and how you wanted to play her. Um. Yeah, that's very true. I also think that when I first read the, the script and I, you know, she's one of the most sort of tangible and like real uh, and complex characters that I've ever seen on, on page before. And um, already before she dies, um, which is something that, you know, I had to funnily enough have, had to work out by myself because um, we start off and she's already, you know, um, dead and existing in this different realm. Um, so figuring out like who she was before, and she was a bit, she was a lost soul. You know, she was, you know, troubled. And I think struggled with the idea of being this sort of um, big fish in a small pond, but wanting to be, wanting to, to get out of this sort of rural community that she grew up in, but it also finding it scary. I guess so those there's just so much to to dig one's teeth into and um yeah just again just super cool <laughs> much cross check <laughs> I, really want, I, like, I want to do that <laughs> and ultimately what do you hope that people take away from watching it because obviously that you know the sort of supernatural crime thriller aspects and the whodunit um kind of will definitely draw people in but then there's lots of other themes that seem to emerge about love about justice about trying to seek truth and, and at what cost um so what do you think people will take away uh, in the end i hope that young girls watch it and see this powerful young woman who is standing up for herself and and that they and also the motocross, which is an, which is what we haven't seen a lot before. I hope that young girls watch it and go, yes, I can do that. Yes, I can stand up for myself. I can do anything. Mm -hmm. I hope that's what, um, what the audience will get away, take away from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And vouch for all these characters and, and, you know, vouch for Neve and really want her to sort of write this injustice that's been, she's been done wrong by, you know. Um, I really hope that people care, like we care for the characters. And for you, Um, Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely, I agree with Nanda. I think it's as much as, you know, these young women are going to be watching this brilliant, yeah. powerful woman hero solving her own, her own death, which is like a massive deal. And it's something that no one's ever seen. But also on the other side of that, I think that there's... um young guys will be watching it as well for that mm -hmm. um it, it fits to a lot of a lot of different demographics it to a big, yeah, it fits to a big audience, audience massive and um and it's you know there's you know love there's mystery yeah, yeah. there's you know it's really dynamic and very fast paced and a lot of stuff happens and a lot of secrets get sort of uh brought to light uh throughout so there's something for everyone really Mm. Exactly. I was going to say it's in to, for the young guys to see maybe Joseph's story and how he deals with the really toxic masculinity yeah. element that is part of that motocross club and his, yeah. his family, his dad and his uncle and everything and him not knowing what's right and what's wrong and trying to kind of break away from that in his own messed up way because he's really troubled he's not <laughs> he's not okay and it's, he grew up in that and you he's know? grown up in that and maybe that will it's hard to break free of you know help some people kind of think mm, it is possible to kind of you know make a make a make change, a change. Make a change. Yeah. And, and I also, oh, sorry, you, no, so you just, waved your arm. I just you went like that. Like, I, I, I also think that the, 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 the relationship between Neve and Alex, because they're both the outsiders, they're both lonely when they first meet. And mm. then they, they sort of find each other and are able to, because Alex is one of the only characters who can see Neve um, for reasons which we'll find out later. <laughs> but, um, but they are able to help each other. And because they're both kind of, a little bit geeky and nerdy, even though Neve is this cool motocross chick. They have the outsiders, and together they can be a little bit nerdy and, and weird together. So I think it's also for all the misfits, all the weirdos out there. Yeah. <laughs> for all the weirdos out there. Brings everyone together. Hopefully can be And the sheep. And the sheep. And the sheep. Come on. Representation galore. Yeah. <laughs>
it's um <laughs> it's really great it's a beautiful it's we can help each other in that way yeah well, i think i'm out of time but it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you and thanks so much you for sharing too. all that with us